hello and welcome back. Today I have the latest electronic load from uh, Korat and it is the Cal 2000 series but it is built on the new platform so it has better fan control, higher power but most important higher currents. It is a borrow from the Ailer Shop, so thank you Ailer Shop. And what is so different on this new platform compared to the older one? If you have seen my other video about the Cal 2000 series, I think the 2020 or the 2030 and also the 2050, you already know it has most of the basic functions, constant current, constant voltage, constant power and constant resistor. It even has a list mode and it can be controlled over LAN or serial. And because it doesn't have any other super fancy features, you have actually get a lot of power for your money. This is the older version. This is the 2020 and the 2030. Uh, the control unit is on this side and the power dissipation unit is on this side. So this is it from the inside. So on the right side you have the control unit and here on the left you have the main 500 watt unit. And the shunt is right in here. And the 300 and the 500 watt are sort of the same, only this one is less populated. And this is then the 2040 and the 2050. It's more or less the same. It goes also in uh, units of 500 watts, just like the other one. Here you have the control unit. Here we have the first main unit with the, also with the shunt. And that's also what limits the current for this model to 40 amps because this one is 40 amps, but also the 1500 watt. So the first 500 watt unit has the shunt. And then they added here also another 500. So the 1000 watt version looks the same as this one. And then the 1500 watt, this one is also populated. So then you have 500, 1000 and 1500. So here we see the same. Here we have the control unit and the main unit with the 40 amp shunt in here. But what they did here, they added an extra 500 watt module without the shunt and another 500 watt module without the shunt and that is why this uh, series is limited to 40 amp but they solved that. So what we have here is the 2060, 2400 watts up to 80 volts but this time 170 amps. So they made some changes to the shunt and we're going to have a look inside later. This is completely the same. The whole uh, menu is the same. The only thing that we see is missing here in the front are the terminals and the sense. This is now in the back because we need to deal with a lot higher currents. Well, we can see in the back that this one is better made to dissipate a lot of heat. We can see a lot of ventilation holes. They really put every little bit that they could use. They try for uh, ventilation. We have here the sense and external trigger. We have LAN and we have RS-232, but there's an extra IC USB. I didn't see that on the older platform. And the older platform, the firmware was also uh, hard baked because I requested last year a new firmware and they say it was not available or you cannot update it. So maybe we can do it here, but I'm not sure. I didn't ask yet. Uh, here we have the connector, so you can do, well, 170 amps, so I sort of have <laughs> starter cables from a car that I will add in. And uh, we can play a little bit. I have a big power supply. Uh, first, I want to have a look inside. When we look at the size, it is a little bit bigger than the, than the other platform. The other was about uh, 40 centimeters, so it would be like this. And, uh, well, it's longer. It's now uh, 55, but of course, we have different modules now because the other one was 500, 500, 500, but this one is uh, 1200, 2400 and 4800 watts. Here we see in the middle the control unit and here we have two big units that is actually two separate ones. Uh, this is 1200 watts, so we have 600, 600, 600, 600, and you can add two more here and here to add the 4800. I must say this is a demo unit, so I'm not sure if it's pre-production. So if some things doesn't look that uh, smooth, then it is, uh, that is the reason. Oh, we have big strips here to add the other modules. And ah, this is the shunt. Look at this with big coolings. This is why it can do more current. 
Oh, for sure, this looks different. <laughs> this shunt. Two big, big heat sinks. The shunt is in between here and with a big strip of metal here connected to the others. So I'm not sure if they change this uh, shunt or that this one also can do the high current. They can maybe add even a ventilator here, so maybe they do that when you have the higher current. But this one is already can go up to 170 amps, <laughs> which is already a lot. And here we have the power rail where we can add the other modules. This is really serious big strips. So this is one of the 600 watt modules from the side. And when we zoom in, we see we have a a FED, we have a resistor, a FED, resistor, a FED, resistor, FED, resistor, FED. So we have uh, 16 FEDs here on one side, and we have the same on the other side. So in total, we have 64 FEDs on this one. So when we make the calculation, we have 64 FEDs, 2400 watts, and 170 amps. So that means each FED only needs to dissipate 37.5 watts and 2.6 amps, which is very little. So I'm not afraid to run this for a long time. So let's turn up the heat a little bit. I'm connecting the car starter cables here. Needs to be properly connected. It is a AWG6, so that is a pretty thick. I have a 2000 watt power supply here. I already blew up my first one that was uh, 1500 watts, 125 amps. I, I did get a nice uh, refund, by the way. But this one is uh, 165 amps. Operating is also very easy. Constant current, constant voltage, constant power, or constant resistance. If you have constant resistors, you just set the resistance that you want and you just type immediately. Let's say we want 10 ohms. We have 10 ohms on 12 volt. Switch it on. It means we have 1.2 and we can just lower it, lower it, lower it. And I think we can go as low as 0 0.2. And here we see already the power going, but we can go lower. And then it goes very fast already. Now we are at 0.2 ohms. And that is our limit. But if we say, okay, I like to do constant current. I want 12 amp. You can just direct. Enter and on, and there we have it. We want a little bit more. So it is very intuitive. So I have my power supply here. I hope we can read the display. I will put the angle a little bit different. Um, we have here the constant current, constant voltage, constant power, constant resistors. I said it were the most of the basic functions, but if we look here, it also, you can set the OCP and an OPP. There is even a battery mode, but I also saw there is a dynamic mode. I'm not sure if the other one didn't have that or I just never used it. And of course we have the list programming, but we go to static mode, constant current, and we can set the one amp. And I will switch on the output. And we can see we have one amp. Uh, the, the fan control should be a lot better with this uh, platform. Uh, I will tell you when it is this ventilator, because this one, of course, also will uh, make noise. And this one will make noise. But uh, I will tell you which uh, noise is what. So let's just turn up the current. Well, at 10 amps, which usually is quite a lot. It doesn't get that nervous. This one doesn't make a noise. This one doesn't make a noise. So let's go to 25 amps. 25 amps usually is also a lot, but it's only 300 watts. So it's not nervous at all. My cables are not warm. None of them make a noise. So that's a huge difference because the older series started to, there was also no half. The fan was just on or off and uh, this one. They improved that a lot. So go to 50 amps. 
I'm actually doing this. <laughs> and the power supply is not getting nervous, and the load is not getting nervous, and we are still already at 600 watts. Not many electronic loads do 600 watt. I'm just gonna go a bit further. 75 amps. And we are dissipating almost 900 watts. Well, I don't hear anything still. Like it is nothing. No, we just see the numbers, but I just go to 100 watts. Let's see what, 100 amps. Let's see what happens then. Yeah. so weird such a high current well, I should be able to go higher one twenty five and none of the devices are are even making a bit of a panic uh, now the electronic load comes but it is not as loud as the 2040 I can feel Let's quickly go to 500 and then 150. 150. Okay, I stop here. Now oh, it already went down. It's on the limit of the power supply here. So yeah, okay, it already switched off. Oh, and I just switched it off. We are still running only 90. This ventilator already stopped. And this one now goes. I need to see which one is the current. I think it was this one. So I want to be able, it can do 165. I'm still doing 50 amps, so 5, 600 watts. And Look how we, this is very evenly distributed on the fats. And the ventilators will just get the heat uh, down. Let's see if I turn up the heat again. If it will uh, get in focus. Yeah, okay. Turn up the current. Let's see if we get more heat. We are again at 120 amps. And the cooling seems to be catching up easily. No problems. It's not suddenly... Ah, now we can see slowly more heat. Yeah. Amazing, no? Around 60 degrees. And we're doing so much power. So about the shunt, you know, I thought, will they be using the same or not? Well, it is not impressed at all at these uh, currents. So maybe they just use the same uh, shunt. It's not even a little bit colder. All the rest is. We can see the air that is blowing out onto my meters. So that's all. Oh, it already. This temperature control is so much better than the other one. That is funny. While the shunt was not impressed at all, look at the cables. They are all heated up. They also improved the software because in the past you had for each 2000 model, this is the 2040, but you also had different software for the 2020, 2030. And now they made software for the whole 2000 series. So you can connect by uh, COM port. Then you need to select the COM port you are using. But you can also connect by a LAN, which I have here. So if I say establish connection, I need to type my correct IP number, of course. Okay, we established the connection. It was actually quite smooth. So here we control everything, what we can also do on the keypad in the front, but we can do it to 60 amp, 
path, there it goes. And then we can see the current, the voltage, and the watts. And I see kind of a magnifier. I have not seen how to do this. Maybe we can select. Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit on the timeline. And uh, we can just uh, go to 90, like it's nothing. Puff, and then we can see the voltage stays constant. But here the power and the amps go up. Let's go back to 5, something normal. And here we go down. That is nice. I haven't seen how we can zoom in into the vertical. But horizontal in the timeline, we can zoom a little bit, it seems. Uh, it can do a, a lot more than I thought, actually, because here we have all the configuration. Uh, this looks like a calibration. If we don't agree with the calibration, we can change that. Here we have the overcurrent protection, and we can set multiple lists even, it seems. Uh, over power protection, same with all the list. There is even a, a battery mode in it here. Look at this. We can store different ones, but that is my power supply. It starts to make noise. So there is a battery test mode. There is, of course, a list mode. And we even have here a dynamic mode. I never use this, but then you can vary between certain levels, between a certain speed. Okay, nice VI curve. Do not know exactly what it is, but it's all there. So it's a bit more advanced. It said that I said I only had basic functions, but it, had, uh, it has a lot more. I'm looking here at the website of Aileshop. This is uh, .eu. So we are looking at uh, excluding the VAT, but we can have a look at the pricing. We can see here the old platform is 500, 1,000, 1,500, exactly what we saw in the modules also. The 300 watt is actually the same as the 500, but I just populated it less with uh, fetch. The new platform here, and we can also see the current can go a lot higher, is uh, 1,200. 2400 and even 4800 and i have here the 2400 but 2400 watts for below 1500 xvat it is not bad and we can go up to 170 amp so Kora did a great deal on this just a quick look what you can get for around the same uh, power what you pay for that well, in other brands here, you immediately go to five, six, seven thousand. Well, this one is way below the two thousand and X VAT here. We are even around fifteen hundred. What same brands could do the same current? I think it was around one seventy. So let's go a little bit higher and a little bit lower. What we pay there with other brands? Uh, this one is quite close here with one hundred forty amps. But it is only 700 watts here. So let's take that out. And we are the same here. Around this 1500. And here we have 4, 9, and 10,000 even. So if you want to have some pure bare metal, a lot of power, have a look at the Korot, the new Cal. 2000 series starting from the 2050, 2060, 2070, and you have a lot, lot, lot of power. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.